Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Halloween tutorial that was requested and that I actually love and I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I really love this, if you haven't seen this before, from Rosie the Riveter, this fierce lady here. She's very, very, very famous, representing us women, working women. So um, I wanted to do this tutorial today because I love her. I think this tutorial is adorable. It's actually really, really easy to do for Halloween too. Um, it's pretty much just this makeup look and um, a denim shirt here it's pretty easy to do and it's actually a really fun look and I love it a lot so in advance I'm gonna warn you I have a terrible cold if this voice irritates you my bad homie I understand um, but if you want to see how to achieve this Rosie the Riveter look then keep on watching I love you guys enjoy alright guys so I'm gonna start this off now I have already gone in and done like the basics that I do all the time I just put on my liquid foundation my concealer and set it with powder and I went ahead in and I just filled in my brows to my liking because that is your choice my dear so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue now with my skin so I'm gonna warm up a little bit just because I am relatively fair right now if you don't love bronzer you can skip this step but I'm just gonna go ahead with my NYC bronzer in sunny and I'm just gonna kinda I'm not going to do any heavy contouring because I don't think she looks very chiseled in this look. If you want to contour more heavily, you can, but I kind of just want to warm up the skin. I don't know what my hair is doing right now, by the way. Try not to look at it too hard because I'm going to shower later. <laughs> to give myself that nice, like, peachy look she has on her cheeks, I'm going to use Wet n Wild's um, Center Stage Collection Blush from Fergie's line. It's got a nice peachy color that I think looks a lot similar to the picture. Um, she actually had a lot of blush on um, in the famous Rosie the Riveter photo. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a nice peachy glow on the cheeks. And she also has a beautiful highlighted under eye area. Um, at least that's how it looks in the photos. I feel like she has a beautiful highlight here. Um, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I'm going to take a little bit of my uh, Femme Couture Summer Kiss Highlighter and I'm going to pop that on my cheeks with a fan brush just to give myself a beautiful glow because we're going to be taking lots of photos on Halloween, right? Yes. Highlight, highlight. I just feel better when I'm highlighted. So the eye look for this is actually relatively simple. So I've already gone ahead and primed my eyelids um, with a MAC paint pot in uh, soft ochre. So it also just gives me like that nice concealed look on my eyelids so it's a nice even tone. So I'm going to go pretty simple on my eyes now. If I can find my eyebrow brush. Eyebrow brush? Eyebrow brush, no. I shadow brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take Max Cork. You're just gonna want to take like a nice neutral shade like this because she doesn't have anything like heavy on her eyes. I notice it's kind of more, more of like a natural tone. So I'm gonna take a decent amount of this in my crease and uh, just kind of define what I already have, just to give a little dimension to the eye, give like a tiny natural nude smoke, if you will. But um, she definitely goes more neutral on the eyes. So I'm just gonna buff that in back and forth until it's all blended. So now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Liquid Black Liner and I'm gonna go ahead and actually create a winged look for this. Um, it's hard to see in the photo if she has a wing. I just think it looks very retro and I think it goes really well with this look. So it's up to you if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a nice wing. Now, naturally, because my eyes look really small when I put mascara or any form of makeup on my bottom lash line, I'm going to avoid that area, but if you don't have that issue, feel free to go ahead and apply a little bit of that brown color underneath or some mascara, but I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara on the top lashes, um, just a tiny bit before I go ahead and put on my falsies. So today I'm going to be putting on some of my absolute favorites. I talk about these all the time. I get them from uh, shopmissa.com. They're all a dollar. I stock up like crazy on my number 43s. My jam. So I'm going to put these on now because she has some really nice lashes and they just look amazing. So um, false lash time. I'm using my new tweezers that I got in my Ipsy bag. They're actually like amazing tweezers. And I know that sounds weird because it's like tweezers or tweezers, but like not really.
Now I am just waiting for my eyelashes to dry. So for the lip for this look, God, I like misplaced everything today. So for the look for this today, in this famous photo, I feel like her lips are almost like an orangey nude. Um, I don't want to do anything like too drastic, but since you're wearing like not too much color, you can kind of get away with going more dramatic if you want. So to start the lips, I'm going to line with Spice Liner from MAC. Um, pretty much any like ch chestnutty brown will do. Um, so I'm going to start with this. And I'm also just going to like draw them in a bit, kind of just start as like a base color because I'm going to be mixing today. So it's going to give me more of like a nice neutral base. Sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder. As always, it's my half. I have mirrors everywhere. I don't know. And then I'm going to be taking a couple colors. I have one from NYX and one from MAC. Um, I'm going to be taking the Miley Cyrus 2 from Viva Glam, and it's kind of like a nice orangey color. And then the one from NYX is called Pops, and it's their butter collection, which is so creamy. I love it. So I think these two together is going to give me that look I want, but I'm going to start with the Viva Glam. And uh, just kind of like, I'm not going to go super hardcore. I'm just going to kind of pat it on. And I'm going to go over that with the Pops. And it gives me that nice, like, almost slight burnt orangey nude, um, which I think looks really perfect for the photo. This is a little bit more on the bright side. You could go a little more nude if you want to, but I feel like the photo had, like, a slight orange undertone. So now that we're all set with that, I'm going to move into the hair, which is actually, like, one of my favorite parts of this. So... As you know, it's a very retro look. All you're going to need for this, pretty much even for this whole look, all you need is like a denim shirt like this, and you can get one of these red bandanas at like a dollar store. So for the first part of this, I'm just going to section out a front piece of my hair where I'm going to create um, a nice little like pin curl in the front. So it's going to kind of stick out in front of the bandana. I'm so sorry, I hate talking like this with my voice. I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray just to get the hair to kind of like hold it together and I'm going to wrap it around my finger. It's kind of hard when you have layers, I cannot deny that. But I'm just going to kind of twist the hair up and under to create this little look here. And once you have that, you're just going to want to bobby pin it in place. And you're just going to want to pin it right where you want it. I love this look. It's so cute. I haven't done like a pin-up look in forever. So I'm just kind of pinning that on both ends. And you can kind of stretch it to how you want it. This piece is a little crazy. We're going to have to pin you down there. And then I'm just going to take some hairspray. Really get that to set right there. Oh, how cute is this? I live for the retro feels. So now I'm just going to take a clip from my hair in the back. And I'm just going to pin it up. Um, you can kind of use a hair tie or what, depending on your hair type. But you're just going to want to get it um, out of the way because now we're going to apply our bandana. So you're going to want to just hold this like a V-shape here. And you're going to just lay it flat on the back of your head. And you're going to have the V pointing up here. I should probably take that tag off. Bye-bye. And we're going to hold it like that. And then... This is going to tie up in the front. Like so. And now you are left with this little V flap in the back here. Hopefully you can see everything I'm doing. And because mine is short, or maybe I just have a large head, um, <laughs> you can either tuck it under, or you can pin it, but I'll probably have to pin it. Just like that. Actually, I got mine to kind of tuck. I do have a large head though, so be warned all my fellow large-headed ladies. But that's our look right there. And if you want to kind of pull down a couple pieces in the front, you can. Because I know personally, I feel like hella bald when I don't have hair in the front showing. But I'm just going to pin this top down for extra security. And that is your look. It's pretty easy to do. And now you can just kind of pull up your sleeve. I purposely had grabbed a shirt where I could pull it up high. 
and kind of like do the pose. And then you can just pull up your sleeve. We can do it. That was way too much fun. <laughs> and I literally just want to wear this around for the rest of the day. So guys, that is my tutorial. What are you going to be for Halloween? Again, sorry you had to listen to my stupid cold voice all tutorial, whatever it was. Um, but feel free to comment below your Halloween plans. Tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!